Welcome back to yet more coverage from CES 2012. We've been looking for genuinely new, interesting products and have come up pretty much empty-handed, but we may have found one right now with Gear 4. I'm here with Tom, Hi. and you've got an alarm clock with a difference. Can you explain that difference to us, please? Yeah, it's quite a significant difference. So this is an alarm clock that not only wakes you up, but it measures your sleep. Um, it does this via a little sensor behind the, the front here, and that will monitor your, your movement um, and your breathing over the course of the night, and then break down and give you a profile of your sleep the next morning, which you can view on your iPhone or, or iOS device. Um, so if I grab my phone here, you can see that on camera. So this is an example of someone's sleep. Um, the data shows that they slept for 5 hours and 28 minutes. And it also breaks down the sleep, so you can see when the person was awake, when they were in light sleep, and when they fell into deep sleep. And of course, it's the deep sleep that you require to recharge your muscles and to really get you ready for the next day. Right, so a couple of questions there. How does it work exactly? And um, why would I want to know exactly how much I slept? Well, you, collectively, we're, we're meant to spend about one third of our lives asleep. So it's a pretty important uh, aspect in our lives. Um, sleep also enables us to, 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 to think better, to perform better to uh, for people who are uh, keen athletes uh, they're going to perform better so everybody has a vested interest in uh, sleeping as much and as, uh, as as best as possible now they say it's very difficult to improve something you don't understand so for the first time you're able to learn and, and see and understand how you're sleeping in your home environment and that's through a very simple device that sits on your your bedside table and what lessons can you learn from just looking at the data well the interesting thing about the data, you can look at trends. So you may see that on a Sunday night, you're not sleeping as well. Well, over a course of a period of time, you can st start making simple conclusions or, um, around uh, your sleep performance. Um, Sunday might be due to you being a bit stressed about your Monday morning meeting. That's always me. That's you. So, well, one observation, maybe you should do a little bit of prep work on the, uh, during the weekend, make sure you're not stressed that Sunday night. Um, if I gave you three simple nuggets of information about sleep, it would help you. So one is that you need to sleep in a dark room. Number two is that you uh, need to sleep in a room that isn't too hot. And number three is that it needs to be quiet. So if you can see that you're being woken up regularly throughout the night, at least you've then got the prompt to go and th think about why. Okay, just going back to something you spoke about earlier and um, just knowing the tech behind it. So you've got this alarm clock obviously by the bed. Yes. You're sleeping on the bed. How would it measure your sleep? Well, there's a, a sensor yeah. behind here. Um, it monitors about a metre and a half in, in front of you. It can measure sub-millimetre movements of your, of your body. And that suggests whether you're sleeping deep sleep or light sleep or not at all? Correct. Well, the two things it's focusing in on is your breathing and, uh, and, and your body movement. So to give one example, when you're in deep sleep, your body really just drops and it, 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 it becomes very still. Um, and your, your, your breathing drops slightly. Um, then you go through these, these cycles. So uh, most people tend to have four, five, six sleep cycles throughout the night. They last for an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. And you drift from one type of sleep to another. Um, and you can see you going through those motions. So that the second thing the device does is that it'll wake you up at the best possible time. Now, if you're woken up at, in deep sleep, you feel tired and groggy and a little bit miserable. Um, this device can detect where you are in that sleep cycle and uh, help you come through to the world I in light sleep. Yeah, so it differentiates deep sleep to light sleep and you say that because you sleep in cycles, it'll wake you up at the optimum moment, which is light sleep. Correct, yes. Yeah, so you, if you're prepared to set a window of opportunity, I call it, so um, let's say between 6.45 and 7.30 you, you want to be up, it'll decide within that window what's the best point to wake you up so you're feeling you know, ready to go and attack the day. Right, it's pretty novel technology. We've not heard about this before. Yep. When's it available and how much will it be? Well, it's launching into the States in the spring with the, the Apple Store. Um, you're, you're right, it's, it's a completely brand new piece, piece of technology. Um, nothing else like it exists. Um, and we hope, we hope to be bringing it to the UK uh, later on this year. So look out for it. And can you talk about price? Uh, price, beg your pardon. So $199 in the States and uh, we'll be announcing the pound equivalent pricing later on in the year. Right, Tom, thanks very much. No problem.
That is really interesting. What we're going to try and do is get a sample in for review. It may happen next month, but when it does, we'll be sure to report back with the results.